I'm Byron Kirby. The 2017 National Electrical Code requires that we torque electrical terminations according to the manufacturer's specification. Those specifications can be found on the product or in the literature that comes with it. But where the manufacturer requires it, we need to torque to those specifications. In this meter base, it's stamped on a sticker on the inside. On this breaker, it's on the side of the breaker actually stamped into the housing. The larger fasteners like main breakers and meter bases will be in the 150 to 250 inch pound range. Smaller fasteners like on a breaker or a neutral bus or a ground bus is going to be 20 to 50 inch pounds. So those numbers can be found on the product and that's what we're shooting for. The products we use to do that, the tools we use, this is an AC Delco torque adapter. 3 8 female socket drive on the bottom, 3 8 male socket drive on top, an electronic readout, we can set it for the torque we're looking for. This meter base requires 250 inch pounds, so I've preset this for 250 inch pounds. So when I torque the fastener, it will beep when I get to that, that torque setting. Pretty simple. So we'll tighten that up. There's the beak. Easy to do. The smaller fasteners, we're going to use a torque screwdriver. This one's made by SK. Uh, several of them are available. Klein makes one. This uh, torque adapter I got on Amazon. It's also available in several places. But the screwdriver has a release when you get to the torque setting. Now I've set it for 20 inch pounds for 10 gauge wire. That's what's on here. I've got an Eaton breaker. And when I get to that 20 inch pounds, it's just going to click and that's as tight as I can get it. So fastening, setting the torque on the fasteners is easy. And once we do that, we want to mark it. We use a paint pen uh, to mark that fitting and you can see that you've torqued it and you know if somebody else has messed with it.